Hi everyone, my name is Elke and I'm the program coordinator of the Bachelor of Education minor in teaching and learning in international schools. And it is my pleasure to introduce to you today Rene and Kunal, and they are recent graduates of our minor and they're here to share some of their experiences. Firstly, can I ask you both to introduce yourselves? Okay, so this is Rene from the BAT English major. I'm in year five, almost graduated. Hello there, my name is Kunal. I am going into my year five of my Bachelor of Education in Primary Mathematics. Um, I also hold, or at least I'm pursuing another minor in business. Can you first um, share with us why you chose through the minor in teaching and learning in international schools? Mm, I would say for knowledge and as well as the IB certificate. So I grew up in Shanghai and spent all my educational life in local schools. So I really want to see what is going on in international schools. That's, that's why I choose to do this minor. And also it will provide me with an IV certificate. So I think this will be beneficial to my future job. Uh, well, I had a similar reason as well because I have been, or I was in the local system for all my education life. Um, However, I think this minor is also a little bit more unique because it gives us a better edge in the um, in the job market, at least. Um, as a teacher, as a fresh graduate as well, it gives us more opportunities, more reason to fight a better fight uh, when it comes to um, applying for an international school job or maybe even a local school job because we have a wider understanding of different differences in education or different types of education. Okay. Now, the minor consists of five courses uh, in total, so four courses and a field experience. Can you share a little bit about your experiences with the courses? Okay, so I would say I've met a lot of friends from different education backgrounds. So some of them uh, have been, to or been on overseas studies, and some of them spent um, their life in local schools in Hong Kong, and some of them uh, was in an international school. So it was very good to hear from them because they have different ideas, which was fantastic. And also, I would say this minor was not trying to pers um, persuade that um, international education is superior to local education. It was trying to give me new insights and new angles um, of an understanding education. For example, I remember one essay I've written was about uh, can we apply IB curriculum to a local school? Um, I have two major experiences that I value most from these from these minor classes. One was the um, the hands-on experiences that we had going to international schools, and as well as the guest speakers from international schools, whether it be the administ administrative staffs, the principal, or even just the teachers. Um, firstly, because as local school students, it's important for us to see what is going on in the inside. So we got a lot of opportunities to talk to students, talk to teachers, talk to different members of, these, of, of, of the um, school staff and get a better understanding of what is going on in their planning process, whether it, be, whether it be just the IB or even other international school systems. Um, given that we also have the teachers coming into our classes, focusing on the particular topics that we're learning at that time, and as well as them sharing their experiences in that in that field um, of expertise, as well as we were able to understand what kind of experiences they use they had that helped them in their teaching experiences. With that, we were able to take a lot of the notes, a lot of their notes, and use it for maybe possibly our own teaching experiences in the future. Okay, thank you. Um, after they have completed the four courses, they went on a field experience. So for the field experience, we actually collaborate with ESF, the English Schools Foundation. Can you both share a little bit about what you did during your field experience? So the school we went to was King George Five School. It was both an, uh, an IB school and an ESF, ESF school. So what I did there was just be a teacher, so perform the daily duty of a teacher and also prepare lessons, convey lessons, uh, mark dictation, things like that. Uh, but as a student teacher, I could look at the school from both uh, the angle of uh, an observer and as a 
student teacher. So that was good. Um, first of all, I would like to say that we as student teachers were able to interact with a lot of the other teachers, first of all. Um, we attended almost all the meetings, um, and there were a lot of meetings. Um, I wouldn't say it's annoying, quite frankly, but then it's it's very uh, experiential, and you do get to learn a lot as well, and really connect with the teachers directly, and not just from a teacher to teacher, or or at a professional level, but more of a, uh, maybe even as a friend. Um, as well as, in my time, I was able to join, or at least take part in the uh, annual math week. It happened in the mid of March, and there were a bunch of competitions held throughout the years of uh, of the high school, and <laughs> just seeing the students interacting in the games or just um, engaging in the questions and things like that was honestly quite inspiring because I was thinking, what could I do in my own school when I teach to create a game like this, you know, or et cetera. And I feel like working in a school like this gives us a lot of the a lot of these opportunities to think more outside of the box. Okay, thank you. Now, I hope a lot of you out there are considering uh, doing the minor. Can I ask you as a last question, do you have any advice or any recommendations for students who pursue this minor? Okay, so I would say if you want to be a teacher in an international school, go for the minor. If you want to meet new friends with different cultural backgrounds and be more open-minded, go for the minor. If you want to acquire some global mindedness and reflect on your own t uh, thinking of teaching and learning. Go for that minor, please. Okay, so once again, now after listening to Renee's promotion, please, or at least no please, I think you already are in the minor by now. So what you do need to prepare is you need to be open to reading, um, listening to different opinions, listening to different uh, mindsets, listening to different um, um, thinking styles as well as being able to understand that a lot of these classes are going to be a little bit more challenging, they're gonna be quite different, but all in all, they're gonna be very, very valuable. And with the help of all the teachers taking part in this minor, they're gonna be very, very useful and very, very helpful. So don't be afraid. Okay, thank you both very much. I hope this was inspiring uh, for all students out there. I wish you good luck uh, with your future careers in international schools.